Good evening and thank you for joining us. We're going to begin tonight with that big news and what is shaping up to be as a trillion dollar attempt to rescue the American economy, teetering from the effects of the coronavirus. The centerpiece, a $1,000 injection of cash directly into American pockets. This on a day when Marriott, the world's biggest hotel chain, furloughs tens of thousands of employees. Medical workers on the front lines face shortages in life-saving equipment and concerns for their own safety. And health departments across the country say Monday was the deadliest day since the outbreak began, with the virus now claiming more than 1,000, I should say 100 lives, rather, in this country. And tonight, West Virginia is reporting its first case of infection. That means coronavirus is now in all 50 states. In New York, the mayor says a citywide shelter-in-place could be coming soon. And all this on St. Patrick's Day, where instead of crowds of revelers, many bars are shuttered and big crowds are banned. We have a team of correspondents reporting on the pandemic, but we're going to begin tonight with Nancy Cordes on Capitol Hill. And Nancy, could this end up being the biggest bailout in American history? It very well could, Nor and congressional leaders say that they are hoping to craft it within the week. The centerpiece would be those cash payments or tax rebates of $1,000 or more that would get sent to hard-hit American workers right away. We're going big, and that's the way it'll be. President Trump now pushing for quick relief as restaurants and stores shutter from coast to coast. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin. Americans need cash now, and the president wants to get cash now. And I mean now in the next two weeks. It's part of a massive economic infusion now in the works. This is a remarkable achievement that could president ultimately Obama. dwarf the $800 billion stimulus package that Congress passed during the last recession in 2009. The goal here is to deal with this emergency created by this pandemic. We can't have people bankrupt because of a mortgage payment they can't make because they were laid off. In Ohio alone, more than 48,000 people submitted unemployment claims in just the last two days, a ninefold increase from last week. At this burger joint in Washington, D.C., manager Rob Laterris has been forced to slash his workers' hours and his own. We had a lot of employees that have families to support, and I, I think any dollar in, in, in the pocket is going to help them out. Also on the table, loan guarantees and tax deferrals for the hardest hit industries like travel and hospitality. Marriott has already started to furlough tens of thousands of workers and close some hotels. Washington's Reagan National Airport was a ghost town today. So was New York's LaGuardia. This is worse than 9-11. For the airline industry, this is, uh, they, they are almost ground to a halt. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says he is keeping senators in town until they can get this bill done. The concern is, Nora, that if he lets everyone go home, it'll be difficult to get them back here to vote, given all the new restrictions on movement and travel. A real sense of urgency, Nancy. Thank you.